Hello statistics students that have a TI-84 graphing calculator or you have the software version. This will work whether you have the actual handheld device or if it's on screen. I'm going to show you how to get started with using lists and statistics. So this button right here that says stat on it, when you uh, press that one time, this brings you to a screen where you can do some things like edit, sort ascending, sort descending, clear lists, and set up the editor. Uh, we're going we're gonna to put in data, and we can also see data. We're going to use the first one here that says edit. And uh, our, our screen has a, a several built-in lists called L1, L2, L3. And you might notice on the keypad, in little blue letters above the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, it says L1, L2, L3. These are quick access keys so you can look at data in your lists. So what I'm going to do, you can do this too, is I'm going to just put in a few random numbers. I'm just making them up, just putting them in like this and like that. And so I've put in, let's see, go here, I'm going to arrow up. This says L1 parentheses 9, so that's the ninth item <clears throat> in uh, your list. How about we just have a nice even, uh, how about a nice even 10, 10 pieces of data in our list one. So I'm going to hit second mode to quit out of that. And remember how I mentioned that you can get access really quickly to your lists? Second key, 1, puts L1 at the top. If you, if you hit enter, it'll show in these curly braces the data that's in your list. 1, 2, 5, 6, 9, 8, 7. And then I think I can use the arrow key. I can, yes I can. I can, I can advance over a little bit and I see the closing curly brace. And there's my data. So some interesting things that you can do with this, I'm going to hit clear just to have a nice screen, is you can um, do some statistics. So I'm going to hit the stat key. And uh, instead of going to edit like I did before, I'm going to arrow over here to calc, which means calculate. Now one var stats. One var stats means statistics done on a single variable or just a list of one, one um, single, single data lists. There, there's bivariate data and so forth, like where you have a list of two things. But we'll just keep it simple here today. We're going to hit enter. And what list should we do stuff on? List one is already entered. Frequency list, don't have to worry about that. We don't have one right now. And then this one here, this is execute. Like once I hit this on calculate, it'll, it'll do its thing. So I'm going to hit enter. And ta-da, now I can scroll up and down and I can see statistics about this list. The mean is 5.1. The sum of all the numbers is 51. The sum of every number squared is 321. This one is, sam is sample standard deviation, 2.601. There, there's a big calculation that goes on there that you'll see later. Um, this with the little uh, sigma symbol, that's the Greek letter sigma in front of the X. This means population standard deviation, which is almost the same as sample standard deviation, but there's a slight different thing in the calculation there. N is how many pieces of data we have, which is nice to have in case you have like 500. It's kind of nice for it to count. The minimum number, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, and then the maximum. So these are these are really nice. And uh, that is, and if we want to go to our, our list and like change the data, I'm going to hit clear here. I'm going to go to stat and then edit. And then I can go back to my list and I'm like, uh oh, I put in the wrong number. That should have been a seven. You can just hit seven right there and you can change your list like that. So anyway, that is a very brief primer to how to work with lists and one variable stats on the TI-84.